Hi, I'm Brad Gershkowitz. I go to Strongsville High School, and this summer I worked in the science internship program under Dr. Mark Freumson. So my title, the title of my project is Predictive Risk Factors for 30-Day Orthopedic Readmission, uh, Readmissions, Retrospective Analysis at a Tertiary Care Medical Center. Hospitalizations represent a significant contribution to overall health care expenditures, estimated at up to 31% of total health care costs. 18% of all patient discharges are readmitted within 30 days. Therefore, it would be beneficial to reduce the amount of readmittances as it would directly lower health care costs caused by hospitalization. We hypothesize that there are identifiable risk factors associated with orthopedic surgery that can accurately predict which patients have a higher possibility of being readmitted within 30 days following a surgical procedure. If this information is accurate, it can result in further research regarding these risk factors in order to possibly reduce the overall amount of readmittances and in turn decre decrease cost. Patients that were readmitted within 30 days following orthopedic surgery from May 2010 to, to April of 2011 were identified. Patients' medical records were classified based on factors such as smoking status, body mass index, distance from the clinic, uh, discharge disposition, operative time, tourniquet time, anesthesia type, and estimated blood loss. Results were then analyzed to look for certain trends in the data and similarities between patients who were readmitted. We used 223 patients, and the average age was 56.21 years. The average length of stay was 6.82 days. There were 55 planned readmissions and 168 unplanned readmissions. The discharge disposition indicates where a patient is discharged following, uh, following surgery. Uh, we noticed that 38.1% of orthopedic readmissions occur with a skilled nursing facility, non-CCHS discharge status. Body mass index can also be used to display how physically healthy a patient is. Only 27% of patients who were readmitted following orthopedic surgery had a healthy weight. However, 47% of readmitted patients were obese. A patient's smoking status can also be used to in indicate how healthy a patient is. 16.7% um, of these readmission patients had smoked within a year of the study taking place. This is a number not different from the cohort at large, and therefore it shouldn't be identified as an independent risk factor. Distance between the patient's place of residence and the clinic has also correlated with readmission. The average distance between the clinic and the patient's place of res residence was 54.04 miles. 45% of patients lived within 25 miles of the clinic. There's also a considerable number of patients who had used GITA as an anesthesia type while undergoing surgery. This large amount should be noticed, noted as a possible risk factor regarding orthopedic surgery. You'll notice that 75% of patients use GITA as their anesthesia type. Marital status can also be used as an important risk factor involving orthopedic surgery, as fa uh, having family at home can uh, affect readmission. Th this study indicated that both married patients and non-married patients have a near equal chance of being readmitted to a hospital following orthopedic surgery. You'll notice that 51.5% of patients were married, and the rest being single, divorced, uh, and, or widowed. The study has indicated there, that there are certain identifiable risk factors associated with readmission after orthopedic surgery. Strong indicators of readmission risk included being discharged to a skilled nursing facility, non-CCHS, having a higher body mass index, especially obese, living within 25 miles of a clinic, and using GITA as the anesthesia type. Knowing this presents the healthcare team with opportunities to offer interventions that may help to prevent these readmissions. Therefore, further research will focus on the impact of such interventions to reduce the amount of readmissions following orthopedic surgery. I would like to thank my mentor, Dr. Mark Formson, Dr. Nate Mesco, Mary LaGrasso, Deanna Trias, and the rest of the orthopedic department and the Office of Civic Education Initiatives.